to be using Flory's algorithm to find a circuit or path in this graph. And the way this algorithm works, as we, as we talked about in others, is you can start at, at any vertice, and this is a, a plane graph, so anywhere where an edge cross, crosses another edge, we have a vertice, but you can start at any vertice, draw an edge, and just keep drawing. And what you're looking for every time to figure out which way to go is to simply ask, if I draw an edge here, will the graph still be connected? So to do that, uh, let's start here. I mean, we could start anywhere, but, but we start here, and I draw an edge this way. And if I look at the remaining white graph, there's nothing that's been broken or disconnected. I can still travel along every edge to get to every vertice. So I know I'm going the right way. If I go this way, the graph is still not broken, so I'm okay. I'm going to keep going. And in fact, nothing in the graph looks broken or disconnected. If I go this way, I still haven't disconnected anything. If I go this way, and I go all the way here, it looks like the top and bottom parts are, are, are disconnected. Um, however, they're, they're not. And this is a little confusing. I mean, if I, if I go past here, we don't want to do that because we're stuck at this vertice. So we're only going to go here. We don't want to return to the original point because then, then the graph's over. That's the only other question, I think, or other aspect of the graph we could pay attention to. You don't want to finish the graph and block yourself from going any further. But now when we draw, I want to go up here. I'm okay because, I, because nothing's been broken in the graph. I can still travel around. Go this way, down here. Okay, nothing's been broken. Now here, um, I'm going to go to the right because this graph is still not broken. I'm going to go this way. Now if I go up, oops, if I go up here or down, the graph is still not broken, so I'm okay. Going this way, everything's okay. Okay. Come back here. Kind of weave around. I'm just trying not to break the graph apart. Okay. Here, notice nothing's been broken. Okay, now I'm going to come up here. And here, finally, this example took me a while to get to this point. But we finally have an example where Flory's algorithm really helps. I know I, I cannot go this way. Because if I draw an edge this way, look what happens. Do you see how these white edges are no longer connected to these edges up here? Well, that means that this edge, by drawing it, we, the resulting graph, whatever's left, is disconnected. And that means that we cannot draw an edge there. That's the algorithm. That's how it works. So instead, Flory's algorithm tells us to go this way. And we keep going. Nothing is broken. Keep going. Almost there. And now, complete the circuit. So basically as you draw along, just every time you draw an edge, make sure that you haven't drawn a graph that's, or, or drawn an edge that disconnects the rest of the graph. That's the basic idea of the algorithm. Alright, hope that helps.